Hey guys, Mike Yancey with Pine Hollow Longbows, and I'm going to show you something on Tiller and a send you back to Osage Bow that I think will really help you in your bow building, as well as even self bows with no backing. But if you will um, get a good back established on your self bow and on your send you back bows, get a good clean back where you can send you back it. Once that's established, you're dealing with this little bit right through here. That's all your bow is. Your tips, last six inches are just holding the bow together. This section through the handle is just holding the bow together. All you have to worry about in tilting the bow, you've got these professionals that want to make you think that it's magic to tiller a bow and you can't do it if you're not a professional. Well, I do this for a living, and all you have to worry about is from this progression of growth rings that step down out of your handle. This is your fade section. You have to have that rigid if you're going to do a shelf. And I make a shelf on all my bows. So you have this progression of growth rings. From there all the way down to about the last six, eight inches is one continuous growth ring. So all you have to worry about is getting this however long your bow is, say it's 20 inches. You got 20 inches here that's got to bend. This limb right here has got about 20 inches that has to bend. All that has to do is match each other and hit the poundage and the tiller that you want. It is purely that simple. This handle section, it's not bending. You can get crazy with it. You can cut your shelf in, do whatever. But you need this progression of growth rings that step down and then they're going to stop about six inches past the center of the handle. And then it's going to continue down into one ring. This is where your tillering is done. And to do that, start out with your rasp and then go to a Nicholson finer type rasp and then go to a scraper. And these scrapers are easy to sharpen. You can do an amazing amount of wood removal with that scraper. So just think about on your bow that you only have just a little bit on both limbs that's bending. The rest is just bending with the bow, and this is not bending at all. So I hope that helps you some, and enjoy your bow building.